Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Mental Gave Kings. Back with another video. Today, I want to talk about the power of your subconscious mind when it comes to manifestation. Now, when it comes to manifesting any of your desires, what you need to realize is that there is a power that lies in your subconscious mind that is responsible for all your desires or everything in your life um, coming into reality. Now, the language that the subconscious mind understands is the language of feeling. And the feeling isn't meant by an emotion, but rather a feeling of reality. So if you want to start to manifest different things in your reality, what you have to learn to do is to communicate in a language that your subconscious mind understands. And this, like I said before, it's the feeling of reality. Now, there's a few tools you can use to penetrate your subconscious mind so that your desires can then start to manifest. Now, some of these tools are affirmations, visualizations, and imagination with intention. Now, you want to be able to do this during times when your subconscious is open to suggestion. And these times are prior to going to sleep at night and just as you're waking up or when you're in a deep, relaxed state of meditation. Now, the reason why these times are so powerful is because you're in different states of consciousness. And if you can successfully impregnate the feeling of reality during these times, then this is when it's much more likely that your desires will manifest, okay? Now, the other thing you want to remember is that repetition is important as well, because the subconscious never sleeps. Now, if you were doing these techniques and doing these things during the, these times, but then during the day, you're saying to yourself all these other things, again, through repetition, you're gonna suffer. So like I was saying, the other important thing to remember is, yes, while well, you can program your subconscious during those periods of the day, prior to waking up, and as you're going to sleep at night, the other important thing to remember is that even though you do this, you don't want to be thinking negatively and then dwelling in all these unfavorable things during your waking hours of the day. Because like I said before, the subconscious mind never sleeps and is always listening to what you consistently, habitually say about yourself as well. So it's important to remember during those pockets of the day when your subconscious mind is more easily open to impregnation, you feed it positive imagery, positive mental conversation. And also during the day, you're feeding yourself and saying positive things. All right? I'm sure you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. It's been your boy. Peace, power, prosperity, and love always.